Lee from motorwork.com and today we're doing a review of the ThinkPad Carbon X1 which is Lenovo's ThinkPad Ultrabook. Uh, this thing is super thin, super light, it's made from uh, carbon fiber so let's go ahead and open the package and see what we have in here. First thing you can see here is an Ethernet dongle. So uh, it doesn't have an Ethernet port because it's very thin and has to fit the um, Ultrabook requirements from Intel, so you do have an Ethernet dongle here that attaches via USB. Just leave that in the packaging for now. Okay, so we have our power cord and power brick. Standard Lenovo size 90 watt uh, power brick here. And this actually connects to your device via a proprietary port of sort. Almost looks like a USB port, but it's proprietary. And here is our ThinkPad carbon here this is a very and I say again very thin ultrabook uh, height is only 0.71 inches so it's less than an inch um, very thin you can see the slim profile there just showing you the design and let's look at some of the specs here so this is our charging port where that funny little port goes to air vents it's a regular USB this is a wireless switch here on the side so you can turn that on and off. Again, the profile is very thin. In the front, it's nothing there. Of course, at the bottom here, you do have your, um, your shoes and, of course, air vents. Switch over to the right-hand side. You have your memory card slot. You have a headphone mic jack. Here yeah, we have the display port button. And we have USB 3.0. Take with the SS signature and we have a security lock. And that's pretty much it. Um, here, there's nothing else. Or oh, the back here is for a SIM card, so you can actually use a SIM card with this uh, to be mobile on the go. Uh, this weighs three pounds exactly. It feels lighter than three pounds. It's got this very soft, uh, almost matted finish, which of course you can see is causing glare on the camera. There, give you something to focus on quickly. Uh, the very top. Yeah, you do have uh, two indicators for battery and, and charging there. And of course, your ThinkPad logo should light up when you charge it. So let's open this up. I'm just gonna drop this down for a second. Open it up. Now this is running an Intel i7 V Pro processor. This is an i7 processor in here. Uh, the V Pro is a different style processor to fit Ultrabook uh, standards and requirements. Um, this also has eight gigs of memory. You can see the keyboard layout, very traditional ThinkPad keyboard layout here. Of course, you've got your little track digi in the middle. If I bring this forward here, you can see you do have your buttons for your volume. Uh, you do have your mute button. Uh, and you have a couple of buttons here. You have your, your mic button there, your power button. You've got a 720p webcam on the top, and this actually folds all the way flat. Now, giving just a profile look again, this is still a very, very thin ultrabook. I mean, this thing is very thin, light, very durable. Now, uh, Lenovo said this uh, meets the military standard spec, so I can drop it and uh, I shouldn't have issues with it whatsoever. Um, All right, so I spent a lot of time with this guy here, the ThinkPad Carbon X1. It is one of the thinnest and lightest uh, ultrabooks i have used and i really really like this ultrabook uh i let's put it this way i'll go out and say this is the best ultrabook currently in the market uh first of all it is super light you've also got this uh carbon um carbon build i've dropped it a couple of times and it works and i didn't purposely drop it it just actually fell and it's solid even though it's very thin now the model i have here is the um i7 model it's the i7 um, core i7 v pro now that model comes with four gigs if you want eight gigs you have to go with the i5 i've got two six uh, gigabytes of uh, ssd storage here you cannot upgrade this to an eight i believe this is only a four according to the website from lenovo now first thing is just looking at the this design you can see how thin it is of course i can open this up and you can lay it out flat you can see how thin that is you've got um usb 3.0 on this side your dual headphone jack you know the whole spiel there and of course you've got an USB and your Wi-Fi um, switch here on that side now putting this up here you've also got your traditional uh, trackball and a very smooth trackpad and one thing I will say though um, with this is that it's got it's also got that um, 
rapid charge feature. Now, it literally takes maybe an hour and a half to fully charge, but if you charge it for about, you know, uh, I believe 20 minutes, you get about 7% of a charge and so on and so forth. And it's great. Now the battery life, um, they claim about seven hours, and probably with the i5, with the i7 here, I've gotten close to about five, five and a half hours, which is still good. Uh, one thing I will note that is the, the uh, battery life software here that they have, um, it just, it kind of flickers, that's one of my just little noises with it. It does actually give you a steady decreasing pace of how uh, your battery drains. So sometimes it, it will jump back up, go down, but my overall clock use with it is about, uh, about five and a half hours. Now, in terms of usability and functionality, this thing runs very, very well. It's smooth, it's fast, efficient. Again, like I said, this is 256 SSD. SSD is fine, you can see I opened it up there and immediately you know, it came up. Uh, boot time, of course, is what you expect with most SSD builds. Uh, the keyboard is nice, it's great. You've got a backlit keyboard here uh, to actually uh, turn on the, the backlit keyboard. You hit function and spacebar, and you can, I don't know if you guys can see that, you can change the varying levels and turn it off. It's like two levels up and two levels down. We've got a webcam here, HD webcam, uh, which is also very nice. Again, it, it just works very well. I like it because it's functional. I've used it to edit videos too. Uh, I was using PowerDirector to edit video here. And um, honestly, it did a five minute video and it took about three minutes to edit, which is great. It's about uh, a 300 uh, uh, megabyte file. So that is fantastic. Uh, if you want to do a video and on the road, this is great. Now this unit, you need, uh, I think the highest bill for any of these units is about close to about $1,900, almost $2,000, but it is well worth it. Um, it's one of those, it's one of those ultra books that once you start using, you realize and say, yes, this is what I want to use. I, I mean, I'm not trying to sugarcoat this, but I think Lenovo has really done a fantastic job here. One thing of note though, is that if you're, for instance, in my case, uh, if you're editing video, this thing runs very hot because there literally is one vent on this side and you can see everything, all the hot air just pushes out that way on, on the left-hand side. So it runs pretty hot with uh, if, if you're doing a lot of heavy work with it. But overall, this is a solid, and I mean solid, ultra book on the market it weighs about three pounds uh actually it said they say three pounds exactly to me it feels like two and a half it feels super light i think it's just the build itself that makes it feel like very rugged you can drop it not purposely by mistake and it still handles very very well it, overall it's a solid ultra book i totally like it i love it i mean i've said in the past i'm not a big fan of a trackball because that's just not me but with everything Lenovo has done here with this thing part Carbon X1, I think it's pretty much the benchmark for all Ultrabooks on the market. Everything else follows from this. So um, if you guys are looking for an Ultrabook and willing to spend the amount of money to get something that was durable, functional, and also is very, very reliable, I say go with the ThinkPad uh, Carbon X1. It's a great Ultrabook. Um, the only, you know, you've got Bluetooth here, you, um, you've got uh, Wi-Fi. You've also got um, a slot here at the back. Close this up quickly for also your SIM card. So, you know, you can actually put a SIM card in here and actually um, use uh, wireless data on this. So this is, is fantastic. You can see, just look at, looking at, at this, it's a very light, very portable. I can flick it around and I can't tell you more how much I really love this. Um, so if you guys have any questions or any comments about the uh, ThinkPad, ThinkPad uh, Carbon X1, let us know. You can see again, quick start up there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. It's all border work with uh, Duo. So this is Thunder saying thank you and always enjoy entertainment.